Hello, this is B speaking, and I'm going to be welcoming you to the Anguilla Isles episode series. This is episode one. Uh, this is uh, just a, a quick run through of what's available on this game save. We have Newt Island and Peaceful Island, Boulders, Lagoons Island, University Island, and here unnamed but with lots of districts in it is what I call Industrial Island or Big Island. Now this is to uh, introduce this video series and you to the Anguilla Islands game save and its collection and of assets and mods that are available for free on uh, the City Skylines Workshop, and links to the game save and the collection, and this series of episodes are all in the description below this video. Now, I'm going to try and do it as uh, just show you what's in the game by just grabbing Sims and letting them. Uh, and, and, and we'll just take rides with them. So we'll just grab any sim down here. Okay, we're with Terry Campbell, who is uh, lives at the Sunset Residence. He works at Frank's Gourmet Fish Sticks, and he is headed home. So we're going to click on him and then click on the camera so that we're actually like a fly on his nose. And uh, then I need to get this out of the way and set my speed down to where he's not, doesn't look like he's on amphetamines while he's walking about. There we go. Okay. So while this fellow that I've already forgotten the name of is headed for home. Uh, I might have to speed this up a little bit. Let's see how these people are walking. Yeah, they could go a little bit faster. We'll try 40. There, that's better. Okay, so this gent is headed home. He's on the industrial island right now. And as you can see, there are lots of other sims on the island with him. Uh, I might have had this set for a vehicle previously. That's not always a good thing. Get this out of the way. Okay. Um, this is uh, an island that I created from Google uh, Mapping with Terrain Party. Um, I pulled an area of islands, one of which was called Anguilla Island, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. And um, then I played with it a little tiny bit. It's mostly the islands themselves are the topography heights and all that are pretty much left alone um, with a few authors licenses that I had to make in order to get certain things in and working. Uh, it looks like our gentleman is uh, he's either headed for the blimp station or the gondola ride up. Oh, nope. He might be going on the blimp. Because that's a station to the blimps right there. Yeah. And hopefully we won't have to wait with him for too long. I might put you on hold. You know, pause the game if it looks like he's not going to jump right on with this group of people. There are two kinds of blimps in this game save. The original blimps that came with the um, mass transit DLC, which you have to have to have this game save work, they were first class blimps, which only hold 35 people, all of which are obviously getting their own private seat next to the window, have somebody to wait on them, give them food and drink. Okay, he jumped right onto the blimp, and so did a bunch of other people. When you jump onto the blimp with a sim, or by yourself, well, you have to be in a sim to get on a blimp, you're, you're not, uh, this is what you see. All the other folks, you see them getting on, and then they disappear. And 
you see your guy jumping on and it looks like he's hanging off the bottom of the blimp um, but at least he's in there and you can see what's going on so uh, he apparently lives uh, someplace far enough away that he needs to take a blimp ride to get there so I'm going to set things on three down here so the blimp goes a little bit faster because we're just, you know, hanging around over the water. Uh, anyway, these blimps, they take 35 people, and they have a little hostess in them who's giving you food and, you know, taking care of you like you do in any first-class flight in an airplane. Um, but you can only have 35 people. Well, when you have a huge city and you need to move a lot of people, that doesn't work. So I created a fleet of actually four fleets of coach blimps which don't have seats in them they just have four long bars running down the middle of the area that the passengers go in four long bars front to back you hustle in there you jump on a bar if you're first in next to the window if you're not you grab one grab hold of one of the long bars that's down the middle and you're just standing there you know waiting you know taking your ride and that's it but it's a lot cheaper and a lot of folks can't afford the high expense that they would otherwise have to pay to be on one of these blimps so and this is our one of our main forms of transit in this game so there are in the collection of four different fleets of uh, coach blimps. And you can tell the difference right here. Over here you can see a coach blimp which has no advertising on the side of it down here. And I'm going to try and use this little thing that I discovered. We'll see if it works. This guy is a coach blimp down here. I'm not very good at this. You'll see he doesn't have any advertising. This guy is the vanilla first class blimp with the advertising on it. That's how you can tell that that's who you have. Okay, and then we'll start this up again. Uh-oh. Is there a reason why it's not starting? Uh-oh. Well, this was not, shoot. There we go. I don't know what I did that caused that problem, but there. Okay, so the blimp is headed down, and hopefully we are still attached to the gentleman who was in it, and not, I haven't just bumped us into the blimp, which I think I might have done. We'll see when he gets out. If if we're still with the blimp when it takes off, we'll know that <laughs> that we're not with our our gentleman anymore. Of course, he might not be getting off here. Oh, okay. So we're still with this fellow that I can't remember the name of, and and we're going hell bent for leather because I I didn't. There we go. Okay. So he's headed to his home in one of the most highly populated areas here where all the uh, high-rises are just crammed in together because I felt that I needed some uh, and I may fix this before I share this game I felt that they I needed this many high-rises in this area in order for the population to have a place to expand so that the taxes coming from the population would keep the city going because I'm doing it in hard mode here and I have to keep it from I have to keep the funds going so this is way out along the edge where you wouldn't normally have it and it's that's why it's so dark out here because as you get near the edge of the game and we are right on the edge of the game uh, I mean right on the edge it gets darker I mean, it's always darker. It's like gray cloud day. So that's what you wind up with when you're out here. 
Oh my goodness. It's just, it looks like it's after, like it's evening, but it isn't. It's just we're on the edge of the game. Oh, and I forgot what I was going to tell you now. Oh, the, the, um, the links to the game saves, to this game save and to the collection and this series of episodes are all in the description below on this video. And so you, if you want to go and subscribe to it at, for free and be able to get into it yourself, um, you can do that in a uh, workshop in City Skylines by going to those links and just saying subscribe and then going to the collection for it, which you need because almost everything in this game save is an asset or a mod that makes it run. So you need the collection, so you would go to the link for the collection, which is on the description of the game save when you go to that. And you need to click into the collection and click subscribe to all. Or you'll wind up with not a game save, but just a map with not even hardly any streets, because a lot of the streets require After Dark DLC, this one probably doesn't, but a lot of them do. And I might be changing this one before I share the game. This fellow should be headed into one of these apartments pretty soon and will bounce back out. There he goes. Okay, so we're back out. And I'll see if we can't get somebody who's... Let's get up here where we can move a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take us off the main island here, and I'm going to take us over to Peaceful Island because it's much prettier and uh, the rides are much nicer. I, I made this island without, you'll notice the other islands all have high rises on them, and that big island has got agriculture and farming and industrial and nightlife, and you'll see all of that either in this episode or others, but I think We'll just go down in here. We rode a blimp already, so we don't need to ride one to get here. But I want to get down here where I can see people coming out of this blimp, and we'll grab one of them when they get on a bicycle, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, here's a bunch of folks getting on bikes and heading for home. And this looks like a little kid yeah, educated teen, but it'll look like a little kid going home. And so we're going to click on this one. And, okay. Let's see if I can. Okay, this is Shirley Chapman. And I just need to back up a little bit on her so I can see her. Hopefully that won't mess me up. And then we'll watch her headed home. And we're going to slow them down a little bit because that's just too fast. There we go. Okay. Peaceful Island has nothing but the city services needed. The, as you can see, garbage trucks, police cars, hearses, at, because there's a crematorium and a police department, fire trucks you'll see once in a while because there is a, um, there we go, boy, she's just really, oh, I've got it on, there we go, that's better, my goodness, she was just running her little legs off there, we don't want them to go that fast, do we, okay, so she's, she's headed home, on Peaceful Island, and there's nothing here but people, their homes, some parks, and uh, the city services facilities, like, as I said, the police department, fire department, uh, crematorium, clinic, you know, the, uh, the water treatment facility, the garbage facility, all of those. So that's all you see here. And that and all of these lovely little houses, which are part of the collection. You don't get to see them otherwise. I hope I'm not boring everybody with this easygoing video, but um, 
everything is already on this game save. This is not a video of me creating a game save. This is a video of the game save you can go in and grab and actually get into it yourself so that you're actually able to jump onto one of these sims like I've just done and enjoy going through the city uh, the way the sim is doing. All of these houses in their beautiful yards are part of, oh, somebody has a uh, hot dog burning on the barbecue over there. That's what all that smoke was. These little houses with their beautiful yards are assets that are on the com collection and all of these trees are assets. They are on the collection. The benches are vanilla, but you still wouldn't see them or have them or the tables because they're part of parks or houses that are part of the collection. So when you get the game saved, you have to remember to go grab the collection and do a select all. Otherwise, you'll just have a topography map with broken pieces of road. This particular road is part of the... <coughs> excuse, excuse me, I'm running out of voice here. This particular road is part of... There's a, there's a, a lady who's a tourist over there headed for one of the parks. Um, this particular little road with the green bicycle lanes it is part of the, I got that when I got the After Dark DLC. So you have to have that if you want this road. If you don't have it, there will be no road around this island. And there will, you, <laughs> people won't be able to get where they're going. So you really kind of need the road, just to let you know. Now all these folks came in on a blimp. That is the only way to get to this island. And... A lot of them who live far, far, far on the other side of the island use trucks and vehicles, to trucks and cars, to get there. But the folks who are only about halfway to the other side of the island, like these kids, they bicycle all the way there. And you see somebody coming up on the left who is bicycling to the blimp in order to go to town and go shopping because there's no shopping here of any kind. There's no nightlife of any kind. That's why it's called Peaceful Island. Okay. There we go. And as you can see, if we kind of tool around the other direction here, there's a lot of, of uh, all of these houses on the island are across the street from the parks and beach areas. So when you're on the island, you're actually seeing all of that. And I'm hitting the D key in case you, you will, one of the things you'll get with the collection is the first person mode. So you can do what I'm doing and just jump down into somebody. And in order to move the camera around, once I'm in a sim, I'm hitting the A, S, D, and W keys that you use in first person. If I hit the A, I go this way around the little lady that I'm following, little girl. If I hit the D key, I go this way. These are things you'll want to know if you're in the game. And you can see that we're, we're on an island because all the other islands are showing up there uh, far off in the distance. If you hit the W key, you get closer to the little girl. I'm hitting the W key now. And now I'm hitting the A key. If you want to get further back from the little girl, I'm still hitting the A key, guys. Then you hit the S key on your keyboard, and you back up. And the W key takes you forward, like we're doing here. Okay, Just so that, you know, you get an idea of how to work with your keys while you're, while you're um, doing first persons. 
Looks like this one girl is out here taking her dog for a walk the easy way. He's a big St. Bernard type dog, so he probably needs a whole lot more exercise than she can get. And so, you know, he, she's doing it on a bike. And there goes another little kid looking for a place to play in the parks, going the other direction. All of these trees and bushes and flowers are part of the collection that goes with this game. You don't do the collection, you don't get any of these trees, you just have bare ground. Just so you know. So if you if you go in and you get the game and you say, well gee, I didn't get I don't have anything here. I just have some islands with bare grass. And it's not even the same grass that that's on the islands. It, this is show you Joycea grass, which doesn't have to be mowed, it because it doesn't ever get tall. Um, they have that in Hawaii, and um, I used it in my yard while I was there. Not there anymore, but while I was there, I put that in so I wouldn't have to mow. It was great, and I wouldn't have to pay somebody to mow. That was even better. Um, anyway, you won't get any of the trees. You won't get this kind of grass. You won't get the flowers. You won't get anything. So if you if you go in and subscribe to the game and you forget to do the game save, that will be why when you open it up there's nothing there. Or there's a possibility that when you open it up because the game save requires all of those things, it may freeze when you're loading and you may not even get into it. If that happens, Go back into Workshop, go to the Game Saves description screen, and look for the link to the collection that will be in the description. And then go to the collection and hit Subscribe to All. And you'll get all that. Okay, so one of the things you get in the Game Save is, uh, and, and this is just normal vanilla, you get it every time you can go to options and then go to gameplay and then go to use day night cycle and then use down here use dynamic weather I'll see if I can pinpoint that for you a little better that's in this area right here okay this little guy here gives gives us use daylight day and night cycle and this little guy here lets us use dynamic weather. There's all kinds of other stuff, but I don't use it. Okay, so we'll get rid of that and this. And now you will notice as we're going um, that the shadows start moving under the build, under the, um, un well, under everything. The shadows start moving as day goes from morning to afternoon to night and then at night there's a really nice surprise that comes with the collection uh, this collection includes the game theme without which you don't get the sandy beaches and you don't get the beautiful blue waters where the shallow water is and the blue waters instead of gray waters where it's not and you also don't get the northern lights that come on at night. Uh, if it doesn't rain before it goes to nighttime here, um, we will be able to see the northern lights, and that's always fun. It's uh, we, Tropical islands are supposed to have rainbows. Well, Colossal didn't make rainbows yet as an option, so... Um, since we can't have rainbows in the daytime, the only other sky show that I had to give was Northern Lights. Now, I realize that I took a little bit, little teeny tiny bit of um, creator's license when I put Northern Lights on a tropical island because we all know they're not there. They're closer to the... Uh, poles North Pole I think um, so you wouldn't normally see those at night 
but you know I took a little tiny bit of license because I wanted something pretty at night for people to see and it's going to take a long time for uh, I think at the speed that we're going here it takes a long time for the evening to show up so I'm going to put us up on speed three and the little girl is going to be going like crazy and she'll probably we'll bounce out of her before we get where we're going or maybe we'll just bounce out of her now I could do that okay we'll stop the game clicking that you can do this in the game when you are when you're in the game yourself you click on your person you click on the follow button and then you click on the X so that you're free of that person and you're still going to go with that person see you're still going with her until you pop out hitting the escape key on your or the tab key I'll try the tab key you can hit the tab key on your keyboard I'm doing it right now and that bounces you up so that you're this is the little girl down here I don't know if you can see my mouse are not moving but the little girl is down here and we're now up above her and we're no longer in first person mode we're just in game mode so if I click the space bar which made her stop starts everything up again I can now go and bring this speed slider down here which you get with the collection down here at the bottom and pull it all the way up to 200%. Now everything's moving at twice as fast as it normally would. And now I'm going to hit the three key, the number three key, on my keyboard and watch this boat out here. When I hit it, well, I, the boat's so far away you can't see it, but you'll see, you'll see other things going by that are going by a whole lot faster, like these people are going by a whole lot faster okay and I'm gonna go ahead and go down into hit the tab key to go into first person as myself now I just hit the tab key and this is what you would do this is how you would do it um, I'm, I'm pulling the mouse backwards pulling mouse forwards goes like so I want to be facing down towards the ground as far as possible and then I hit the W key, which takes me down to game level. And I'm literally nosedived into the cement or the grass. And then I push the mouse forward. That's how I get up. Mouse back, mouse forward, mouse to the right, mouse to the left, mouse forward, and you go way up. You can get to look, okay? That's the mouse movements. And I just went to the right so I could follow this guy. He was too fast. But now I'm going to go ahead and go, uh, I'm going to hit the A key, which brings me to the right, or the D key takes me to the left. Now I can go forward with the W key, and I'm using the mouse key to kind of try and keep myself on the sidewalk. I'm not too good at this, by the way. This is one of the parks that you get with the asset collection okay and there we go so I'm just skimming through on my own now and I'm going at high speed because I'm waiting for the Sun to go down so that I can show you the beautiful lights in the evening and it should be, yeah. See, now we're getting we're getting these beautiful colors in the shallow water here. That's what happens as the sun is going down. See, there it goes, headed down over the hills. And the lights come on in the buildings. You can see the lights turning on, and the water colors change. All of this is in the collection. You don't get it otherwise. Okay. And this is the night light show. It should be starting up here just any time now. 
there it is. Isn't that lovely? Now that's the northern lights. And you'll see them all night long when you're on the islands. Okay, I'm going to go up here. There. Aren't they beautiful? That's what you get to see at night on this game save instead of just, you know, regular sky. And on this game save, I made the moon a little bit large because I think it should be pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to bounce out of with the tab key, bouncing out of first person because I can move faster. Uh, and I'm scrolling the scroll bar backwards in order to get up high enough so that I can move up, move forward here. There. Okay. Trying to get us back to the main island. There we go. Only this time we'll go in down here. Okay. So this this island has uh, this is the industrial area. And then over here on this side of the island is the area with the nightlife and the, the big tall high rises that people live in in the middle of the island. Mostly it's high rises except around the edges. Everyone gets around by way of blimps or as you can see all these little cable cars that are down here. I'll get down here on one of these little cable cars. Maybe we'll follow him through the city. And I'm using the S key to back up a little bit, otherwise you can't even see the cable car. There we go. Okay, and the cable car goes through the city and carries people around. And this is one of the cable car stops. I'm going to make this go a little slower now. Well, not that slow. There. And I need to get down a ways. Otherwise, I think I'm going to be... Let's see if I can lower myself. Going to the FPS camera up here in the corner, um, I'm going to go down to vehicle camera Y, which is the up and down. And as I scroll this back and forth, you can see how you can go up and down here. I want to get down far enough to where I'm not sitting on the ceiling. That's as far down as I can get. Okay. And then when it goes through, I can see the people that are getting on and off up here in the waiting areas for the, for the little cable cars. And then the cable car just takes off and I'm using the S and D keys to kind of scroll around behind him here. There. And as you can see, there's beautiful northern lights at night, which gives you something to enjoy the view of as you're following your people. There we go. And um, in this game, everybody, I don't have a metro system, I don't have taxis, I don't have buses, although they're available on mass transit. I felt cable cars and blimps were more than enough, and they don't, they don't clog up the streets so that the fire department and the police department can't get in there. Okay, see all the people waiting to get on the cars here? I just think that's kind of cool that you can get in there on them. And I don't know why he's turning around there. That's not the end. Why did he do that? Huh. Okay, I hope they're not all doing that. 
I wonder if I can jump on this other guy. Okay, we'll follow him for a while. There we go. Let's see if, using the S key, getting back a ways from this one. Is he going to go around the corner? Or is he going to go straight through? They're not supposed to go around the corner on this one. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah! Oh! It's broken! Somewhere along the line, I broke my... my uh, I'm going to take this out of... I need it in daylight. Options. Going to gameplay. Use daylight. Nightlight. No. Did I, did I not do that right? Here we go. We'll do it again. Options. Yeah. Okay, so daylight is off. There we go. Okay. This, this baby went down this far. And, or down this far to this next one. And I'm following these guys. Two. Okay, there's that one. And this one. Did he get this far? I have this bad feeling that I disconnected somewhere. That's what I'm checking. Okay, well, I'm going to end this episode and... Um, see if I can find my problem without making you have to look at it. And uh, the next episode, this is long enough now anyway, the next episode will uh, continue with just showing you all of this stuff through first persons, and hopefully you'll come and join me in it. Okay, ending the episode, and I hope to see you in episode two. Bye.